Hong Kambo, better known as Samo Hong, was born on the 7th of January 1952 in British Hong Kong. He is an actor, director, producer, fight choreographer, and legend of martial arts cinema. Known for such movies as Prodigal Son, Warriors 2, and Magnificent Butcher. As a young boy, Samo was raised by his grandparents, who were given guardianship of him. His parents, as well as his grandparents, were involved in the movie industry. His mother and father both worked in the wardrobe department, while his grandfather was Hong Chong Ho, a well-known movie director, and his grandmother, Chin Siang, was a famous actress in the early Hong Kong movie industry. When Samo was nine years old, his grandparents enrolled him in the China Drama Academy, a Peking opera school in Hong Kong, run by Master Yu Jim Yen. In keeping with tradition, Samo was given the name of his master and was then called Yen Long. At the academy, he also established lifelong friendships with fellow students, Jackie Chan, Yen Biu, and Yen Wah, who all went on to do great things in the Hong Kong movie industry. The same year that he enrolled in the school, Samo got his first taste of acting. He featured in the movie Education of Love. In the following years, Samo featured in several movies as an extra or in minor roles. At the age of 16, he had a serious accident and was bedridden for several months. It was at this time that his weight began to balloon and he was given the name Samo, which was the name of a wrong cuddly bear that was a popular Chinese cartoon character at that time. After regaining his health and resuming work, his newfound weight did not slow him down. And after years of honing his skills as part of the group known as the Seven Little Fortunes, he was given an opportunity to do stunt work on the Shaw Brothers movie, The Black Butterfly, and also featured as an extra in the Shaw movies, The Magnificent Swordsman, The Bells of Death, Dead Valley, and The Jade Raksha. In the following 10 years, Samo paid his dues, featuring as an actor, stuntman, and or fight choreographer in 66 films. Although he did work for independent producers, the bulk of his work would be for Shaw Brothers Studio, that is, until the formation of Golden Harvest Company in 1970. Samo's relationship with Golden Harvest yielded better results for him as he was given meteor roles and had more creative control with the fight choreography. In 1972, he won fans over with his role in the classic Angela Mayo movie, Hapkido. His portrayal of the character Fan Wei gave him an opportunity to play a good guy and show off his acting range. Between the years 1972 to 1977, Samo played a part in every movie that Golden Harvest produced. He starred in 37 movies and did the fight choreography for most of them. Then, in 1977, he was given an opportunity to direct his own film. That movie would turn out to be the classic Iron Fisted Monk, starring Samo and the legendary Chan Singh as the titular character. In 1978, Samo was chosen to complete Bruce Lee's unfinished movie, The Game of Death. He, along with Robert Klaus, the director of Enter the Dragon was given the challenge of utilizing footage already shot by Bruce and making a coherent movie out of it. Did they do justice to Bruce Lee's legacy? Let me know in the comments below. In the following years, Samo embarked on a journey that forever changed the landscape of Hong Kong cinema. In 1978, he gave us Enter the Fat Dragon, an homage to Bruce Lee and the endearing classic movie Warriors 2. The movie Knockabout was released in 1979, followed by The Victim in 1980 and The Prodigal Son in 1981. After the release of The Prodigal Son, Samo made a noticeable detour away from the Kung Fu movie genre. His next movie, Carry On Pickpocket, would be the template for where the Hong Kong movie industry was heading next. After pioneering the Kung Fu comedy genre along with Jackie Chan and company, Samo now had his sights set on the modern action comedy genre. From 1982 to 1999, Samo starred in 54 movies. The majority of them was action comedies like Winners and Sinners, Project A, 
Wheels on Meals, and The Millionaire's Express. He also delved into other genres, Mr. Vampire Part 3, Eastern Condor, Painted Faces, and Seven Warriors. The action sequences in all of these movies reflected what we had come to expect from his Samo Hong film, fast paced and inventive. Throughout the 1990s and into the 2000s, Samo continued to work at the highest level and with the biggest names in the Hong Kong movie industry. He starred together with Jet Li in the movie Kung Fu Cult Master, Jackie Chan, Mr. Nice Guy, and notably several times with Donnie Yen in the movies Kill Zone, 14 Blades, and Ip Man 1 and 2. Although he was advanced in age in all of these films, we saw that Samo still kept up with his younger contemporaries and that he could still perform at a very high level. From the year 1961 up to present time, 2024, Samo Hung has never slowed down. As a matter of fact, he has recently featured in a movie released in 2023 called Return of the Lucky Stars. I will now take a deep breath as I call out some of Samo's many accolades and achievements in his illustrious career spanning 63 years and counting. Actor, 193 movies and an unknown amount of television credits. Director, 34 movies. Writer, 6 movies. Action director, 17 movies. Producer, 47 movies. Martial arts director, 60 movies. And presenter, 11 movies. Keep this in mind, there are other accomplishments not mentioned. Awards Asia Pacific Film Festival Best Actor 1988 Painted Faces Hong Kong Film Awards Best Actor 1983 Carry On Pickpocket 1989 Painted Faces Best Action Choreography 1983 The Prodigal Son 2009 Ip Man 2011 Ip Man 2 and 2018 Paradox. In 1973, he married Jo Eun Uk and had three sons with her. They divorced in 1994. He then got married to model and actress Joyce Godensi in 1995. They had a daughter and are still together. Samo also founded four well-known production companies. Garbo Motion Picture Company in 1978, which produced three films. Boho Film Company Limited in 1980, which produced 40 films. D&B Film Company Limited in 1983, which produced 77 films. And Bojan Films Company Limited in 1989, which produced 5 films. With a list of achievements in Hong Kong cinema that is rivaled by very few, Samo Hung has earned his place as a legend of Kung Fu cinema several times over. So. To Samo Hong Kambo we say, thanks for the memories. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and feel free to leave a comment. Thank you and may the Fu be with you.